Have you ever watched a movie that left you laughing, shocked, and saddened all at once? If not, you're in for a treat with The Razor's Edge. This 1946 film, based on the novel by Debbie Somerset Maugham, takes you on a journey through the life of Larry Darrell as he searches for meaning and truth in the aftermath of World War I. The story unfolds as Larry, played by Tyrone Power, rejects the materialism of post-war America and embarks on a quest for spiritual enlightenment. Along the way, he encounters a colorful cast of characters who challenge his beliefs and test his resolve. One particularly memorable scene is when Larry travels to India in search of a guru who can help him find inner peace. It's a moment that stays with you long after the credits roll as you ponder the deeper meaning of life and the pursuit of happiness. But The Razor's Edge isn't just about philosophical introspection. It's also filled with moments of humor, drama, and heartbreak that keep you on the edge of your seat. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts about The Razor's Edge. The film The Razor's Edge, released in 1946, has made a lasting impression on cinema and remains important today. It tells the story of Larry Darrell, played by Tyrone Power, as he searches for meaning in life. The movie explores deep ideas about existence, challenges common beliefs, and follows Larry's journey of self-discovery. His quest for enlightenment speaks to audiences, offering timeless insights into human life. The film's rich story and deep thoughts have kept it relevant over the years. The movie's significance lies in its ability to stay meaningful across generations. Its portrayal of characters facing tough choices and seeking purpose has become a classic story type. The Razor's Edge also delves into the complexities of relationships and decisions, securing its place in film history. Today, the film still matters because it tackles universal themes that touch people from different backgrounds. Its timeless story lets viewers connect with the characters and their struggles, making a lasting impact on how we think about life. In summary, The Razor's Edge is a masterpiece that has left a strong impression on film. Its lasting importance comes from its deep ideas and relatable characters, ensuring its relevance in cinema. In 1954, her portrayal of Nefertiri and Cecil B. Demel's The Ten Commandments was deemed by columnist Loella Parsons as the most sought-after role of the year. The depiction of Larry's spiritual journey high in the Himalayan mountains diverges from Mayim's novel. In the book, this moment is recounted later through a conversation between Larry and Mom's character in a Paris cafe. Mom, an agnostic, describes Larry's experience as akin to Eastern mysticism, particularly Samadhi, where one transcends earthly suffering. However, the film presents Larry's revelation as finding unity with God, possibly to cater to Western audiences or appease censors. Originally, he was slated to play Richard Burton's role in the robe. In a memorable hospital scene, Anne Baxter drew from a personal childhood loss, delivering what she considered the peak of her career performance, still haunting her years later. Karen Burroughs Hansberry's book Bad Boys, the actors of film noir, explores the personal backgrounds of the actors in the movie. Notably, it inspired the character Mr. Peabody on The Bullwinkle Show. Baxter's portrayal in that scene remains a highlight, tapping into her own emotional experiences. Hansberry's book offers insights into the actors' backgrounds and their roles in the film. Additionally, the movie's influence reached popular culture, with a character from The Bullwinkle Show being inspired by it. These aspects contribute to the movie's lasting impact on both film history and popular culture. The Razor's Edge, a movie from 1946, underwent some notable changes during production. Marcel Dalio, initially set to portray a French police inspector, did not appear in the final film. Director George Cukor, originally slated to helm the project, was replaced due to creative differences with producer Daryl F. Zanuck. Zanuck preferred a different approach to the novel's adaptation. Despite these alterations, the film introduced the popular song Mamsell, which became a significant success in 1947. Its bittersweet melody resonated with audiences, contributing to the film's legacy. The Razor's Edge, a film released in 1946, originated from a serialized novel by Moen. The story first appeared in Red Book magazine from December 1943 to May 1944. The plot is loosely based on Fitzroy Davis' novel Quicksilver, which tells the experiences of actors like Catherine Cornell, Orson Welles, Brian Ahern, and Bezel Rathbone during a theater tour in the 1930s, with names changed but events reflecting reality. 
Davis wrote this popular book in 1942, incorporating Hollywood success stories with Cornell reportedly attempting to buy up all copies. During the filming of The Ten Commandments in August 1955, an article by one of the actresses discussed ancient Egyptian makeup and perfume. These insights provide context to the era and industry in which the movie was conceived, enriching understanding of its background. The details about ancient Egyptian makeup and perfume come from an article written during the filming of The Ten Commandments. This information offers a glimpse into the industry and time when the razor's edge was created, enhancing our understanding of its background. In the 1946 film The Razor's Edge, Dana Andrews and Betty Grable starred together, marking one of their collaborations. They also shared the screen in movies like Tobacco Road, Bell Star Laura, The Iron Curtain, and Where the Sidewalk Ends. Betty Grable had additional partnerships in films such as College Swing, Tin Pan Alley, Footlight Serenade, Springtime in the Rockies, and The Dolly Sisters. The Razor's Edge stands out as a significant work in their filmographies, showcasing their talents in a captivating storyline. It is a notable entry in their collaborative projects, highlighting their chemistry on screen. The movie provides a glimpse into their artistic abilities and adds a unique touch to their shared body of work. The engaging narrative of The Razor's Edge allows audiences to appreciate the on-screen dynamics between the actors. The collaboration between Dana Andrews and Betty Grable in various films has left an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape, making their joint ventures memorable for fans and film enthusiasts alike. The movie The Razor's Edge, released in 1946, faced scrutiny from the Breen office. They asked for a translation of Russian lyrics sung in a nightclub scene because they were worried they might have hidden messages. At the 19th Academy Awards on March 13, 1947, the film made history when a previously unnamed actress won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in it. This win was a big deal for her career. In another context, a character from the movie, played by Jeff Rector, appeared in the FX series' first season episode called The Other Woman in 2017. This showed how the razor's edge still mattered in later portrayals. These details give insight into the historical significance of the movie, both in terms of how authorities saw it and its influence on the people involved. These aspects contribute to the broader story of the film in cinema. In the 1946 film The Razor's Edge, notable dubbing work was done in Italy by Lydia Simonski and Rena Morley, who also worked on films like Laura and The Ghost and Mrs. Lesmuir. Other actresses like Miranda Bonancy, Rosetta Calavetta, and Paola Barbara contributed to dubbed performances in other movies. Every year on November 15, Hollywood Forever Cemetery holds memorial services to honor the anniversary of a contributor's death. Similar services are held annually for Rudolph Valentino. The actress involved in the film has made a significant mark on cinema with three of her movies, The Bride of Frankenstein, Lassie Come Home, and Mary Poppins earning a spot in the National Film Registry for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic importance. In summary, the film is deeply connected to various aspects of cinematic history, from the art of dubbing in Italy to the annual remembrance at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, showcasing its lasting influence.